so today we're going to be talking about a movement within the golf swing which oh man I'd, i really wish i knew this sooner and the sooner that you guys know it the better potentially your swing is going to be now this is all about the top of your backswing and the transition into the downswing and we're going to be focusing on the trail shoulder and the trail elbow. Now I was always taught when I was a young whippersnapper of a golfer, if we wanted to get the club, driver, iron, whatever it be, shallow in the downswing and moving out a little bit more to the right hand side for a right hander, we had to get to the top of the swing, drop everything on the inside, turn the absolute crap out of it and hope we could hit it down the fairway. Now what we've really started to see in the last kind of 10 years or so is how the trail side actually moves in the downswing that results in better shots and also an ability to shallow the club. Now we're gonna get slightly technical here, but I promise it's easy to follow. Now your right shoulder and your elbow at the top of the swing can be in a few different positions, but we're gonna keep this pretty simple. Let's say your right shoulder is internally rotated. That would mean that it's turned inwards towards the ball. Now just notice what happens here to the steepness of the shaft. It gets steeper, this is gonna help result in more of an out to win steeper downswing. It can also be in external rotation, which means it's rotated away from the ball. Just notice again what happens to that club, it gets a little bit shallower. You can also think the same terms with your elbow. It can be internal, it can also be external, it does the same thing, to that shaft position. But one of the best things about this and an understanding of how this trail side should move at the top of the swing is it allows you to shallow out the downswing without having to do any crazy re-looping. So simplify this, turn up to the top of the swing and I'm gonna move that shoulder a little bit more in this external position. So a little bit more externally rotated. What I can do here is turn and if I keep this structure the same as I rotate towards the ball, notice how my hands, even though they seem to be moving out of the body, the club still remains that little bit shallow. So I'm not having to do this. All I'm having to do is maintain that external rotation, turn, club shallows, and approaches from a slightly inside path. Now, that might all be well and good, Pete, I hear you say, but practically, how can I do this? It's not an easy move to learn. It takes a certain amount of flexibility within the shoulder joint, but it can be trained. The simplest way of understanding this feeling, imagine that you are a waiter. It doesn't really matter where. Think of it as a fine dining restaurant. You are carrying caviar and champagne to a very well-to-do table. You have the tray in your arm like this. It's quite heavy, you're kind of resting it on your shoulder as well. If you had the tray on your hand like this, if your shoulder went into too much internal rotation, everything's gonna fall off. Caviar, champagne everywhere, you're not gonna last very long. If it goes too far the other way, it's the same thing. So if you can get into this position at setup and then rotate to the top of your swing whilst maintaining this structure, this is going to put you in that external rotation position. Now it is going to take some work. This is not an overnight fix, but if you can get used to that position, if you can get used to those feelings at the top, it really is going to allow you to shallow the club, hit more powerful drives, especially whilst not getting stuck in behind. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Swing Quest video. If you want to get all the information, take a screenshot now, become a subscriber to the channel if you haven't already, join the community here, and also follow and continue your improvement to better golf by checking out these videos here.